How do you forgive yourself? Well, forgiveness is split into three parts. You have four, which is an indication of where someone or something is going towards. You then have give, which is to offer something to someone or to provide someone with something. You then have ness, which is actually a condition or a state. So if we have a look at it, we're basically indicating a forward motion towards ourselves that then has a provision of a clarity of a state or a quality or a condition. So when we have a look at actually forgiving ourselves, in order to provide or make that provision to our future self, we then have to go back to the previous versions of self from the past that are currently present in the current moment in order to then release anything that does not serve us as individuals or give us any sort of benefit rather to our actual identity of who we currently are and where we're currently going to in order to provide that sense of healing or that sense of balance and alignment for self which then subsequently reverses back to an element of forgiveness and then when we couple that with the fact that most of the forgiving nature is well how do we forgive ourselves well we have to go back to the origins so we can't forgive ourselves for something that we were subjected to based on circumstance and situation for our own learning and development because ultimately these are the building blocks that we had to incorporate within our existence in order to create the identity in the first place for us to become the person that we were meant to be in order to do what we were meant to do. So when we have a look at forgiveness there is an element of victim mentality involved because we're basically a victim of circumstance and we're saying that actually this shouldn't have happened to me therefore I have to forgive in the first place but the reality is we're conditioned to a place of we had to become this person in order to survive or to cope or to manage with what had gone on before and then because that was what had gone on before that was optimal for us at that moment now that we have a chance to then sit and do some of the healing work we can now go back and we can go and review everything that we thought we were that we're not and therefore find alignment based on our own decisions and based on our own healing work that we're currently doing so when we have a look at forgiveness as a whole it kind of exists but not in the standard way that you would expect it to exist and then when we start looking at it from that angle the question is what can we give to ourselves now in order to enable us to step into that future version of self that then has the forgiveness but without actually forgiving that person because ultimately that person's done nothing wrong and that person doesn't have anything based on a standard definition of forgiveness to be forgiven for so there's a bit of food for thought and as always until next time trust the process and it's bye for now